Yes, I came up with a new problem where um, one container needs to communicate with the other container. I mean, one container has the Express.js server and the other container has the JSON server. So the JSON server acts as my API container and the Node.js or the Express.js container which is going to request to the JSON server through Axios dependency. So I got a strange error which I am displaying in the screen currently. So this is a error I am I, I, I was facing guys. So this is nothing but actually I want to communicate between the two containers. I am getting the error connection refused the local host 3000 port. The 3000 port is nothing but the JSON server which I am accessing from the Express.js server which is hosted in 3500 port. So as you seen on screen this is a GraphQL IDE and I have hosted in 3500. This is nothing but the Express.js server and the GraphQL server which is hosted in a container. This container needs to do an API request to the which is in the JSON server which is disp in the inside the container with port 3000. So I got this error in the right side section of this. So currently it is displaying in the right side section as uh, the, uh, uh, the data but previously I was getting this error guys. Errors connect E connection refused localhost 3000. So how did I resolve it? But before going to solve this problem, I wanted to know that the two containers if they want to communicate each other, we want to uh, provide a bridge network actually. So I will explain it in detail. Uh, maybe I'll take a pen. So what it needs is like I have two containers say like A and I have another one container called B and if the two containers want to communicate each other I need to create a network. The network is called as bridge. So this is nothing but our bridge network. So this bridge network acts as a bridge actually so that it connects these two containers to communicate. So if A wants to communicate with B we need to open it up and it needs to come connect to this bridge. So each containers needs to be in the same bridge so that it can communicate each other. So this is a concept guys. Okay when I am creating the docker containers will it not create the default network so that was my next question what i did was see this is my docker compose file as you see on the screen okay i have two uh, folders called json server and node server as i said earlier so how uh, and my parent folder is graphql okay so how it creates uh, a new uh, network is let me take a, where is this is there no text pad text okay text box here it is so usually the default network is created with uh, say, say like I shown you the parent folder as GraphQL right so it will be GraphQL underscore default so this is my default network will be created in this name okay let's see it in action now let's see what are the network bridges I am I am having it so there are three types of network guys one is bridge network one is host network one is none but here we will be focusing only on the bridge network so that we can make a uh, communication between two containers. So when I put this command docker network ls it is displaying the networks in my local host. So I haven't run my docker compose file. Let me run it and I will show you. Now I am building these two services with the docker compose file 
and let me check the network what it has created hope it would have been created okay it has been created when i put again docker network ls it is displaying graphql underscore default so this is a bridge network it created by default so graphql is nothing but the folder name underscore default is nothing but it adds as a by default and it creates a bridge network what driver type it is like of bridge network so when we go and inspect this docker network inspect sorry docker network inspect the network id okay so in this section i have two containers in the uh, in the object field as a key so all these con two container id ids i have been uh, displayed here in this network bridge so what it shows is the network bridge has these two containers it can communicate to each other and it allocates a separate ip address of this so that it can communicate to each other so what a uh, so initially i was getting a empty object but now i deleted the network and then i deleted the containers as well and then i try to recreate i mean docker compose i docker compose command i try to rerun it so that time i was getting the uh, uh, default network bridge created as well the containers getting binded to the network bridge so this solved me the problem and now what i did was now i was able to query it say 23 25 so whichever data say like i have the data here here i have id 23 24 106 105 so whichever the id we i am giving it the name and the data or the age i can query it so that supported guys and if you like this video please subscribe it will be a boost up for me to put up more channels Thank you guys